Quilts are a historical reference of our society as a whole. You can go through history, and a lot of people do, and just look at the quilts that are being made over different decades and get a sense of what was going on in the world at that time. It's one of the things, just like journals and presidential notes and what have you, that give us an idea of what was really on people's minds over time in society. because it's been taught through generations in so many different cultures. Quilting is really a community event where quilters interact, it's very social, and people flock to the medium who want to be involved in quilting and want to share with other people. That's part of the experience. I have been sewing since I was seven years old. My mom taught me to sew when I was a child, but it took me until I was 40 that my sister-in-law talked me into taking a quilting class. I remember saying to her, I really don't want to learn to quilt, but it'd be a nice way to meet people. And then with time, I took classes with some really great teachers, and they helped me to, um, to see that I should try to do the things I was imagining. And I just wanted to make every pattern I could find, but I have no background in art. And the very first art quilt, if you will, that I made um, of my own design won a contest. And I thought, oh my goodness, maybe there is creativity inside of me. Well, one of the most common questions I get asked in our gallery is how long will this take? The funny thing is that everyone who made any of the quilts that are around you now are way past 10,000 hours of being in this art form. So the real answer is it might have taken them a year, but it would have taken anyone else decades if they could have ever done it. They're true masters working on this. But the direct answer to your question is, I've seen quilts that are true masterpieces done in three months. There's a quilt in our collection that took 12,000 hours. It just depends on the artist. Obviously, if they're working in hand, it's gonna take longer. Their process, everybody's process is different. But yeah, it takes a long time no matter what. There's a lot of precision to it. And it's usually in the thousands of hours. I love color, I love um, design, I love trying new things. I go to the quilts, quilt shop or the fabric shop and I start looking at fabrics that speak to me. And then once I see the fabrics that, that I'm loving the color, the, the way it's fitting in, and again, I'm prayerful about this, then I start making the pattern. And I'm not a person who um, designs the whole quilt ahead of time and then makes it to design. I make the portion that's in my brain and then I do whatever comes next. And so it's just a joyful process for me. I do see different stages of my life in, in my quilts as I go. When I first started out, again, very traditional, following the patterns. And then as time went on and I started making more art quilts, I got much more whimsical. I got some abstract uh, part, portions in it. Um, and then from the time I was saved, my quilts became much more, um, much more personal. And um, he, he decided to save me uh, back in 1997. And at that point, I, I didn't realize I needed him so much, but uh, I have come to understand that. And I believe he gave me the gift of quilting a few years before then to get me through some really hard times. So while I was going through these hard times, I began praying over my quilts. And I love to enter contests and challenges. And so I would pray over them and just say, I'm, I'm not sure what direction to go on this or how to do it. And um, then as I would work on them, I would just feel his leading. What came to me is if I would cut the quilt apart and then put it, finish the pieces separately and then put it back together with beads. Um, I call this series Crossings and I feel the beads cross the gap and hold the broken pieces of my quilt together as my faith in Christ hold those, holds the broken pieces of my life together. So this has become a spiritual journey and I've been doing, I think I have 15 quilts in this series now. And um, just that type of thing, I'm, I'm, I'm growing in my techniques. I also love to learn new techniques and try new things. And um, 
It's just a wonderful journey. In my quilting life, I never thought I was going to be a quilter. I never thought I was going to be a teacher. I never thought I was going to lecture or speak. I never thought I was going to write a book. Um, and God had these plans for me that I never expected. And now I'm not saying never anymore. I'm saying, what's next? People have a perception of what they're going to see. It's underappreciated among some folks that just haven't experienced it. But the thing I always tell people is that if you come in the gallery and you'll see it, it becomes part of you. I, I, I constantly am humbled by the fact that these skills are just gifts that he's given me and I, I want again to use them for his glory. If I were a quilt, I think I'd be a patchwork sampler composed of many different blocks, each representing a different aspect of who I am. A Christian, a daughter, wife, mother, grandmother, quilter, traveler, and the list goes on. I always tell my granddaughter that my favorite color is rainbow because I can't decide on just one. So I would also have to be a scrap quilt made of many different fabrics. God's imagination is endless as seen in the variety all around us and we are all created in his image. It's what makes us each unique and worth getting to know just as quilts in a quilt show captivate us and draw us in for a closer look.